In this video, we're actually going to use the MSI file that we created in the prior video. So I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to try something here. I'm not 100% sure it's going to work like I want it to. What I want to do is actually try to import this as a separate application. Um, the, the ideal way to test this would be to have two BizTalk servers on two different machines. And now you would go to sort of a virgin machine that doesn't have anything on it, and you would import this purchase order application. So I have two ways to demonstrate this on my test laptop is I could either delete the purchase order application and then re-import it, or I could try to import it under another application name. So there are actually two steps to running the MSI. Um, first you just run it. So you go to the MSI, double click it, and it actually runs the Windows installer program, which is what MSI stands for, right? And notice by default it creates a directory called C program files generated by BizTalk and then the name of your application. Now you could change this if you wanted to to just be BizTalk or something, but I'm going to just take the default for now. So that directory right now on my machine should be empty. Let's just go check that out. So here's my program files, and you can see there's no directory called, oh, there is, generated by BizTalk. There it is, PO system. This was actually back in December of 2006, so nothing I need there actually. So I'm going to delete that directory. And now we're going to go back to this wizard and continue. Okay, this is just a general screen we can skip and say next. Again, next. This is real time that I'm running this. So you can see how long it takes. Obviously, it depends on how many schemas and maps and orchestrations and so on you have. And so this is not touching the BizTalk database yet. We'll do that in step two. The first step is just run the MSI, which is basically building the program files directory and putting everything in the GAC. And now it tells you you must also import the MSI into the BizTalk application database. And we'll do that in just a second. It says we're done. Close. So now if we go back over here, there's generated by BizTalk. And then here's your DLLs that you included. And so if you go to the GAC, you will actually see that DLL should be there. Let's just go look real quick. So I go to C Windows Assembly. And if we scroll down to the name of this, which is BizTalk Function Library, right there. So that's the program that got gacked for us. And then you have this uh, GUID here. And inside the GUID, you just see a bunch of CAB files, which represent all your uh, BizTalk applications. Okay. So the next step then is to go to the BizTalk Admin Console. And right here, then, you want to click on Applications, right-click Import MSI. And you're going to go to the same MSI on the disk. Actually, we'll do it this way. We'll click the dot, dot, dot. We'll go to the deploy directory, and then we pick the MSI. And then we click Next. Now, notice here, okay, I was trying to think here if, if there was a way I could change the application name so I didn't override the one I already have. That's interesting. Let's just try, okay, let me do this. Let's hit cancel here. Let's just create a dummy application here. New application. Dummy deploy. Okay, so here's my dummy deploy application. So there I can say import MSI. And since I was, I was already in the dummy deploy when I clicked right-click import, it already ma automatically put the name dummy deploy here for me. Okay. Then I'm going to go continue. Now notice there is an overwrite option. If you already have resources such as uh, binding files and you want to overwrite them, you check this. So you have a choice when you go to production. Do you want to undeploy everything and redeploy it, or do you want to redeploy it with the overwrite option? And you're just going to have to kind of see what fits your needs best there. Okay, so I hit next. 
Now here's where we specified our different environments. So when we added our binding files, we said I have a binding file for production and a binding file for test. So if this is my production system, I would click production here. I then click next, import, and now it's doing its database up oops, database updates. We did get an error. Okay, and here's a case where we have a business rule and the business rule already exists on our system. So we would either need to turn on overwrite or we would have to remove the business rule from our file. And so the whole thing basically blew, blew up there. And uh, if we hit finish here and we go start looking for things like orchestrations and schemas, you'll see nothing really got deployed because of that error. So let's do it again. We'll say import MSI. This time we will say overwrite. Okay. We'll go to production. And again, it says it cannot, doesn't like that business rule. Okay, so we have one other option we could do here. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our business rule system and actually undeploy and delete this policy. Okay, and then we'll go back and run this exactly the same way. We will say overwrite. We'll say production. And again, we got an error. It's so fun to get these errors, huh? Failed to import MSI, location of the log file. Resource BizTalk function library is already in store and is associated with another application or another type. Well, again, this is like I was saying, if I was really going to production, I wouldn't be having these issues because I've already got a lot of this stuff on my existing system. And that's what it's basically complaining about. So we'll go ahead and do it this way. We're going to do delete this dummy application here. And I will actually delete the entire purchase order application here. Okay, so we're going to do, uh, you have to stop. See, there's no delete option here right now. So by the way, you can actually start and stop an entire application. So if I click here, right click stop, there's a full and a partial stop. And so I want to do a full stop because I'm planning on deleting it. So when I click stop, it's actually going to terminate any orchestrations that are unfinished and that type of thing. But now if I right click, you'll see the delete function is available. And I'm going to click delete there. So you can see I have faith in my MSI that I've deleted my whole application. Of course, my code is still there, but I would have to, if I wanted to restore this on my own machine, I would have to go back to my Visual Studio and redeploy everything, and I would have to recreate all my ports and rebind them. But by doing this import, it should just refresh everything the way it was. Should is the keyword, right? Okay, so we're going to get our MSI file here, purchase order application. I will say overwrite just in case the policy's there. Let's just check to see if that policy, make sure it's still not there. Okay, I refreshed here and it's not. Okay. I'm going to say, I'm going to leave it at test now because I don't really want those production files. That was just something I was going to try to show you. And then I'm going to import. Again, this is a real time import, so it may take a few seconds to a minute here and it is successful this time. Now it says here, by the way, if you're on production you might have like five BizTalk servers. You would only have to import one time because you're updating the database one time. But you would actually have to run the MSI file on every one of your servers. So if you had five BizTalk servers, you would go run the MSI file under Windows on each of those five servers. Okay, so now we go back here and we see if my application has been restored and you can see it is, except you see things are unenlisted. If I look at my receive ports, receive locations, they're all unenlisted. So I can actually come back here and to the application and say start 
and then you have some options here on your start. So you have what what all do you want to enable? Do you want to start all ports, all orchestrations, and deploy all policies, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? And you want to restart the host, and this is like the whole shebang. So I'm going to click start. This could also take uh, anyway 30 seconds to several minutes, depending on what all you're starting. Sometimes just starting an orchestration can take 10 to 30 seconds. And if you have 10 orchestrations, this could take a while. So now we see here all these have been started. Our receive ports, receive locations, send ports, and our policy has now been deployed. And so you're basically set to go. So what we've done in this illustration is we basically deleted our whole application to pretend we were on a production machine and then we imported our application and chose the respective binding files. And if I go to for instance receive locations here you see I still have the C colon BizTalk demos. If I would have chosen prod for production I would now see here slash slash Neil Walters slash share name. So that was to show you that I could actually have different binding files for the test system and for the production system. So that concludes this video on how to import the MSI file.